So this is my everyday anvil, and off to the right here is that little bread loaf anvil. What I need is to have an anvil that has a convex face, but not quite as much as that, plus that little bread loaf anvil doesn't have much rebound. I've had this other anvil here lying down and the face is really rusted, it's no big deal. And the one surface does have a lot of radius, but it's only front to back. I've been observing others and I noticed that this could be especially useful for me for edge tools. This is a screenshot I took of maybe an Indian blacksmith and look at how his anvil has face radius. And here's a traditional Japanese blacksmith's anvil. And notice that it also does have a lot of curve, especially side to side, but also some front to back. You might remember my stump or stake anvil here, which I made quite a while back. And it's really high quality steel. I think it's that YK30 and has pretty good rebound. Well, rather than just have this sitting off to the side and rusting to heck, I'm going to take this stake anvil here and put some decent face radius on it and see how that works. I want to thank a trio of gentlemen for their recent very generous donations. They are James Dunn, Ron Thacker, and Stephen Watkins. Thanks, fellas. May the force be with you. As a quick aside, I have this old washing machine motor, and I've been wanting to use this to make a grinder, a homemade grinder. Uh, you see I've got it, how I've got it wired here. I'm not sure if anyone has any input, maybe they could help me. It used to spin really well, but now it barely moves. And you can see I've got a red, a blue, and a yellow coming from the motor. And you can sort of see how I have it connected here. I have the, the red and the blue tied in together there, and then the yellow separate. And there's a fuse between the plug end and the red and the blue there. Let me plug it in and then you'll see. It spins, but barely moving doesn't have a lot of torque. I think I've got it wired right, but an electrician I'm definitely not. I can feel that fuse is heating up pretty good. Oh well, back to the drawing board. This just needs a little bit more work. Be it homemade or purchased or both, it's time for a new grinder for me. This little bit of face radius, this rounding in all directions, sort of like a hammer face, could make a huge difference. So I'll take this piece of a bearing and make a straight razor.
for such a small anvil, I'm just really pleased right now. One of my big downfalls with making edge tools is I don't draw the edge down enough. And not having any sophisticated grinding or sharpening equipment, this is really important, or at least I've learned that. My hope is that this convex face will allow me to draw down edges much more easily. I think those puffs of smoke are actually clay dust that's within that stand. So at this point I have to realize that I need to still continue to work down that edge. Anyway, I'm really pleased right now. If you forge edge tools like knives, do yourself a favor and make yourself a little anvil like this. You won't be sorry. This could use just a little bit more crown in the center, so when I get a chance I'll work that down just a little bit more. So I take one more heat to get that edge nice and fine, and that'll make my grinding work that much easier. If you have precision stock removal equipment, maybe you don't care so much about this, but I certainly do. I've got to stop monkeying around when I make edge tools and get my game on, and this is the first step. This is a very simple change, but it makes a huge difference. I hope you guys have enjoyed this one, and I'll catch you next time.